Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to heat up a cold cup of coffee using a Duracell battery. You will need, uh, obviously, your coffee, a battery, some electrical tape and a pair of scissors, a pair of earbuds, and a little corn skewer, like the kind you stick in the ends of corn and eat corn with. This is the digital thermometer we'll be using to show you the surface temperature of the coffee before and after. You won't need one of those. So, as you can see, using a brand new pair of earbuds. You can use any pair of earbuds you have. It's just new earbuds tend to be a little bit better. They're not, there's no chance that they've been worn down or whatever. Not necessary to spend the money on them if you have them around. What you want to do is cut off the end of one of the earbuds. Pull it apart. Leave yourself maybe eight inches. Cut off the other end. Now we're going to strip the wires. You want to leave yourself a good couple of inches there without cutting it off, which I invariably do on my first try. That's why I leave myself extra. Alright, so you get the idea. Get the plastic off the outside of this thing without disturbing the wires inside too much. What I'm going to first do is take one of these and twist it around one prong of this. And the important thing to remember here is they, each wire should only touch one prong and not the other prong or the other wire. Because otherwise you're just going to complete the circuit and it defeats the entire purpose and you may give yourself a little shock too. So I'm twisting it around. The reason we use these is they're very close together and they are not conductive in between them. They're grounded in a non-conductive material. So that's about the size of it. It doesn't have to be too perfect. Then you take your battery. I'll first get a piece of electrical tape. Cut off a little square of it. Got to be careful at this stage because if you're not, you can shock yourself because we are about to create a full circuit. So it doesn't have to be perfect. All you have to do is make sure there's plenty of contact between the wires and the sides of the battery and tape it down nice and firm. And if you want to take this with you, you can go ahead and have some wires already taped to the battery and it already stripped and it'll happen a lot faster for you. And then take another little swatch here. And this is where we're glad that our two prongs are carefully not touching because if they were, we might be getting shocked right now. All right. And before I go any further, I'm going to show you my coffee. Alright, so just to show you how this digital thermometer works, I pointed at my body, and my outside temperature is around 89 degrees, which is, I don't know if you can see that, but that's how it's supposed to be. Your outside's colder than your inside. So I pointed at the surface of this coffee, and as you can see, the outside of the coffee at this moment is around 75 degrees. Uh, if you happen to have the lid and the coffee is still full, a really handy convenient way to do this is to just take this and stab it through the cup and into the coffee. Uh, this works because the coffee is a conductor but a very poor conductor which is what creates all the heat. The electrical circuit is completed between the two prongs and the, hot, uh, the coffee around it becomes hot and gradually the entire thing is hot. Um, if you have a partially filled cup of coffee, you may have to hold it in there for a few minutes, you know, because you don't have anything to stick it into. And if it's possible, you want to leave your cream and sugar until afterwards because that kind of slows down the conductivity and it may take longer. So I'm going to leave this for three or four minutes, maybe a little bit more, depending how long it takes, and we'll be right back. Okay, it's been about six minutes, a little longer than I thought, but I also like my coffee kind of warm. Okay, 
I'm going to carefully remove this lid. And you notice that I'm not touching the coffee or the wires or the prongs because you can still get a shock. I'm going to take my digital thermometer. See what it reads now. 92.9 degrees. That's kind of warm for coffee. You can have it a little warmer if you want to leave it a little longer. And that's all you need to know to heat up your coffee with a AA battery.